Hello folks, so the deep frying saga continues and what will I experiment on this time? How about some sandwiches? They're just some regular pre-packed sandwiches you could get at the gas station or the convenience store. The mandatory beer batter. So what do we have here? Some tuna fish and boiled egg, salami and emmentaler cheese, and your ordinary ham and cheese. Well, looks quite nice actually. This is the salami and cheese. Nice gooey cheese. Tuna fish and boiled egg. Ham and cheese. Can you see the cheese oozing out? So overall I'd say they taste really nice but they are way too greasy. Unless you've got a serious case of the munchies, I wouldn't really recommend those. But this time's experiment has not yet come to an end. No, 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 no. How about we try deep frying a tasty cheesy Leberkäse roll? For more information on this traditional Austrian snack, please check my Austrian snack vlog. It's one of my recent videos. Oh, and I also want to try those two. This one's basically a mini pepperoni sausage uh, wrapped in sourdough or bread dough. And this one's supposed to be some sort of pizza snack with cheese and salami and pizzaiola sauce inside. And of course, I've got some leftover chorizo. Hmm. That cheesy Leberkäse bread roll was pretty high on fat and pretty low on what the body actually needs beforehand. And I don't believe the deep frying process has improved this situation at all. Anyways, I ain't come this far. Bah. Not recommended at all. It's pretty, it's, it's really soggy because it's soaked up like a gallon of oil. No. No! So what about that pizza snack thingy? That was okay, but not really necessary. And the sourdough mini pepperoni. Too greasy. Finally, the chorizo, one of my personal favorites. Well, what can I say? I like chorizo in all its forms. Deep fried, pan fried, boiled, raw. And this concludes today's experiment. Stay safe, stay healthy, see you next time.